right, campaign preview. I suggest you do it in two phases uh, and with two different groups of people. Campaign preview, uh, first of all, it's uh, some, when you're uh, setting up the campaign, you have the possibility to create a token URL that you can send to people so uh, they can take a look, but the campaign is not public yet, okay? Just, just to be clear if you are not aware of what I'm talking about. Uh, so uh, two different groups uh, of people. Uh, the first one is close friends and collaborators. Uh, you can share the URL for an internal revision before you uh, show it to outsiders. And uh, um, I'm talking about the people that are working with you on the game. If they have opinions, if you're missing something, if some section is not clear enough. And then close friends is that people that know that you're doing this thing, but they're not directly involved. So they might also have uh, some opinions and then the second group would be vip community members people that you trust in your community that they somewhat uh, um, already know that this thing is coming it's not a surprise for them and uh, well you could also select some backers from previous campaigns to to ask a random opinion i don't do this i just work with the community members because i think that's people i can trust uh, but you can also consider that if you want an opinion from somebody who uh, has a completely unbiased um, approach to this new thing you're doing. And uh, to those, you, um, you would share the URL for uh, the final fixes, just details or things that are a bit unclear, maybe some reward is not uh, explained correctly or or they they get confused about some some of the offer offering so um that that's the the reason to to do it with them uh first phase uh, close friends and collaborators what should you do with them i think that um well first of all they should read the, the campaign take a look uh, watch the video see what they think about it um ask them feedback on uh, the tiers of uh, the campaign. Are they clear? Do they understand the pricing? Does it make sense? Um, is there something missing? Uh, are all the items uh, there? Things you might have missed because after months you're looking at one thing, you might actually not realize what's, what's really missing and, and uh, um, fresh eyes will, will help you. Show them uh, critical assets like mockups of the game, uh, mockups of accessories, and see what they they think. For example, I've been using this approach to decide on the color of some dice. Uh, show different versions. I show them different versions. I ask which one they like better, and in the end, I settled with uh, something different that I thought in the beginning because it had better feedback than uh, my in initial idea. And uh, when you have all this information, you adjust the campaign according to this feedback. Um, make sure that you're asking uh, to a diverse group of people so you know that it's not a matter of taste. Sometimes people will say, oh, I don't like this dice red, I would want it green. And uh, while it might be a matter of taste, they might not understand the, the design decision uh, behind the color you picked. Um, but then if you show it to 10 different people and eight of them have an issue with that color, then there might be an issue. So that's why it's important that you don't base everything on, on one single uh, feedback. Sometimes if you're absolutely sure that it's the right choice, go with your guts. Uh, in my experience, Many of the successful decisions we've been taking at the Word Anvil Publishing, when I submitted them to collaborators, they said, no, this is a bad idea. And then I was stubborn and I said, no, it's a good idea. And then we went forward and it was, it was a bet because even my own collaborators didn't believe that it would be a good idea. And in the end, it turned out to be a good idea. So. I don't like, like what's important about feedback is that you listen to it. You don't always have to act on it, but try to understand other people's uh, point of view and make a judgment. Uh, do you care about it or not? Or um, after hearing it, uh, are you still 100% confident in your vision? That's, that's the thing. Um, 
One thing that you might find out uh, from the feedback is that your game might appeal to some uh, smaller groups of players, some niche that you haven't considered before. This happened uh, to us, so uh, that, that's an interesting thing that uh, you might not be able to realize by yourself. Phase two, in my opinion, it's optional. I changed my opinion about this. In the beginning, I was doing it um, by default. I don't think it's necessary. Now, uh, you can do it, uh, however. So, you can share the campaign link a few days before launch. In our first campaign, if I remember correctly, we shared it with everyone. And I don't think it's a good idea anymore because um, there is a surprise factor that uh, people on day one of a campaign uh, go to the page and they see all this new stuff and, and it's very exciting. And if you share it beforehand, yes, uh, what you obtain is that, yes, they know what they're buying, they already read everything, um, they are familiar with what you're uh, publishing. So mm, the time to pledge is uh, shorter in theory. But on the other hand, I think you're robbing them a bit of the excitement of day one. So I'm not so sure about this approach anymore. Anyway, it's something that some people do. Um, and that's why here in the slides, I'm suggesting that you do it just for a selected amount of people. Just pick um, members from your community or, as I said before, some uh, random backers from previous campaigns if you want to hear their feedback. Um, this phase is supposed to just adjust minor details. Um, you are not supposed to do big changes to the campaign at this point unless something terrible uh, is pointed out. Uh, something I cannot even imagine, but something, oh, this character you have here sounds super racist. Uh, that is a red flag, then maybe that you should look into it, but um, don't make mm, dramatic changes to the campaign at this point because you need to trust your vision at some point and not just... Uh, uh, random people's opinion again if more people point out the same issue you might have an issue uh, that's why if in this phase uh, you hear an overwhelmingly negative feedback you really need to reconsider the launch date because uh, you might uh, find out that the problem that has been highlighted will just blow up uh, in scale as soon as you launch this thing. As I mentioned in the beginning, sharing the link gives uh, people the full picture of what you're gonna, well, what your offer is gonna be. Uh, you can see uh, what they're more interested in before launching the campaign and make adjustments based to that. Um, you can uh, use their comments in advertisements However, I think like personally, I think the best approach for me now um, is that the days before the campaign launches, I unveil one reward per day to newsletter subscribers and uh, possibly on some social channels instead of giving people the link to the whole campaign. So you still get the same effect that they get familiar with the campaign without unveiling the whole thing that they are supposed to um, discover on day one. A good thing of uh, sending the link around is that people can not only check the campaign, but they can also put a bookmark if they haven't uh, yet. So that is something you might want to consider. However, I think at this point, you should have the amount of uh, bookmarks uh, necessary because you've been driving people to them for weeks, if not months now. So that's, that's uh, my preferred strategy. And don't use this as the main way to get people to bookmark the campaign.